the Master Sword, the most powerful weapon in the kingdom and said to be the only thing capable of killing Ganondorf when he's at full power. But what would happen if it disappeared? Would this mean the end of the world or could they somehow manage? Now what is the Master Sword actually? Well, let's take a quick look. This blade's most known ability is the power to vanquish evil. It's infused with the sacred flames provided by the Golden Goddesses and blessed with Hylia's power. The sword is effective even against evil ones possessing the Triforce. The sacred blade is capable of destroying magical barriers and breaking curses that involve powerful dark magic. In addition, it has the ability to lock away the remains of a demon even, and also acts as the key to gain entrance to the Temple of Light. If the Master Sword is retrieved from its pedestal in the Temple of Time, the portal to the Sacred Realm will open, eventually leading to the Triforce. So this blade acts as a counter for the Triforce, powerful weapon against evil, and even as a key to the sacred realm and the relic found within. Alright, now what would change if the Master Sword was gone after the events of Skyward Sword? The first game in the world's history where it was even seen. Here it was created in order to defeat the Mize, the demon king that would later come back as Ganondorf. Now Link succeeds and defeats him. He then puts the Master Sword in its pedestal and it remains there for ages. The next time in the game's history that someone used this blade again was in Ocarina of Time. Now there are a couple of possible outcomes here. For example, what if the Master Sword together with the temple it rests in were lost forever? It's nowhere to be found, however the sword still exists and blocks off the entrance to the Sacred Realm and the Triforce. If this would be the case, then it would actually be a pretty good outcome. Ganondorf, the one who always wants to take the Triforce and conquer the world, can't get it now. In Ocarina of Time, Link makes his way to the Temple of Time when he has all the spiritual stones and the Ocarina of Time. He then proceeds to use the four keys to open the Door of Time, and beyond it lies the Master Sword, the Blade of Evil's Bane, resting in the Pedestal of Time. Why does this game have all kinds of things with the word time in it? This is the gateway to the Sacred Realm and the Triforce. He draws the blade, but then... Ganondorf appears. He suspected that Link might have already held the keys to the Sacred Realm and mocks him for practically giving him the Triforce. So if the Master Sword was lost and nobody knew where it went, then Ganondorf would have never conquered Hyrule. The only one who can pull the Master Sword out of the pedestal and open the Sacred Realm is Link. That's the only thing Ganondorf can't do. The stones in Ocarina of Time won't be a problem for him, but this final lock will be. So if he does find it, then he still can't open it without Link. And if it's lost forever, then Link will also not find it. And he needed the power of the Triforce to conquer Hyrule. He wouldn't be able to take on the kingdom on his own. We have seen this in the child timeline, where Link warns the king of Hyrule and they end up in a war. They even win despite Ganondorf having the Triforce piece of power. So if the entrance to the Sacred Realm and the Master Sword would disappear, then it would actually solve a lot of problems. Still, Ganondorf could get power from other relics, since there are many more ancient useful items. For example, the few shadow from the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. This is an extremely powerful mask. If he or anyone else would get their hands on it, then it could grant them enough power to destroy everything. However, if the Master Sword only disappears, but the pedestal still remains, then it would be disastrous. At that point, there's nothing that really protects the Sacred Realm. As long as you know the Song of Time, have to ride Ocarina and the Spiritual Stones, you're good. So if Ganondorf was able to get the Triforce, then Link would be in a lot of trouble. Since it's said that the Master Sword is the only weapon capable of defeating Ganon combined with the Triforce of Power. But is this really true? Is the Master Sword the only weapon capable of doing this? Well, for this we will look towards the Zelda game A Link to the Past, since here Link used a different item. 
In the Pyramid of Power, Link faces the King of Thieves, and even though Ganon wielded the might of the United Triforce and the Trident, Link manages to destroy him with the Master Sword and the Silver Arrows. That's right, the Silver Arrows are capable of killing Ganondorf even though he's incredibly powerful. And the same happens in the original Zelda, where he also uses this weapon to finish him off. In A Link to the Past, Silver Arrows are given to Link by the Fat Fairy inside the Pyramid of Power, and in the original Legend of Zelda, it's found in the last dungeon before Ganondorf. So even if the Master Sword was no more, Link could still defeat Ganondorf with this weapon. However, this weapon isn't found in every game. For example, in the brand new Breath of the Wild, we don't see the Silver Arrows anywhere. So if the Master Sword would disappear in those games, then there's nothing they can really do about it. They're doomed. Well, yes and no. There are two weapons that could possibly defeat Ganondorf. And one of them is the Light Arrows. Yeah, Nintendo has something with amazing arrows. It also confuses me sometimes. Now, it's commonly assumed that these arrows are based on the Silver Arrows from preceding games. But they are fundamentally different in that they weaken Ganon's defenses and stun him so Link can freely strike him with the Master Sword. Behaving in the opposite manner, the Silver Arrows are used to damage Ganon directly and not simply stun him. However, we also saw the Light Arrows do real damage to powerful demons in games like Spirit Tracks, where Zelda fires them at Maladus, the Demon King. But in other games, they only stun or weaken somebody and not really kill them. So, it's not very reliable. However, there's also another sword in the series that might stand a chance against Ganondorf at full power. The legendary Four Sword. In the game Four Swords, the Shrine Maidens magically seal him within the blade. So it could work. However, the weapon does need some help. And in that game, Ganondorf wasn't even at full power. He had none of the Triforce pieces, so the chance of this working with him at his most powerful is not very likely, I think. So the only weapons that could reliably take out Ganondorf are the Silver Arrows that are only seen in two games and the Master Sword. So is Hyrule really doomed then without this sword? Well, not completely. They can still use the weapons that stun Ganondorf to keep him busy and weaken him so that he can be sealed away. This is their only strategy really. Seal him away in order to live another day. And that sentence even rhymes. Originally, the Master Sword was created as a weapon to repel evil and to make sure that no demon or evil person in the world could get the Triforce and use it for evil. Without it, Hyrule is in big trouble, and Ganondorf is not the only problem. Oh no. If it truly disappears and is no longer anywhere in the world, then the Sacred Realm is essentially always open, so anyone can get their hands on the Triforce. And as we have seen in other Zelda games, the people of Hyrule can be very greedy. There was a civil war before the events of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, which was mentioned by the Deku Tree Sprout in the game, Lanaru in The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, and in the prologue of The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. The land of Hyrule and all its tribes were content in mind and body for ages, until word of the Sacred Realm and its wish-granting Triforce spread throughout the world. As depicted in the prologue and explained by Lanaru, when knowledge of the Triforce spread, the people of Hyrule fought to gain control of the Sacred Realm and the almighty Triforce within. At this point, the sages, which were there to keep the order, decided to seal it away in the Temple of Time behind a huge door, and also use the Master Sword as a lock. So like I mentioned before, if the lock is gone, everyone will fight with each other over the powerful Triforce. In A Link Between Worlds, we even saw a parallel universe where they made a horrible decision when this civil war happened. The royal family of the land decided to destroy their world's Triforce, believing it to be an end to all the conflict. However, their world started to collapse because of this, so making the wrong choice can be the difference between life and death. So as you can see, there's a lot that will go wrong in the world of Hyrule if the Master Sword is missing, and when it's completely gone, all hell will break loose and there are only a limited number of solutions. Alright everyone, I'll be going to Comic Con London this year, so if you're there, then let's meet up! The event is from the 27th to the 29th of October, and I'll be there for the entire event, so be sure to follow me on my social media to know where I am. Thanks for watching everybody, I hope you have a wonderful day. Currently the weather in the Netherlands is a bit... meh. It's not that good, a lot of rain, so I hope the weather where you're at is way, way better.